trucking on along. The next one is called Over a Barrel. And through the woods to grandmother's house we go. Yes. That's exactly what this episode is about. The ponies and the sleigh. <laughs> Continue. Um, now I'm blinking. I don't Pressure. Know. I don't know. No, the rest of it. <laughs> Let's just watch. Yeah. Makes me want to play Red Dead Redemption. My favorite little tree isn't such a little tree anymore. Oh. So she sang her song big and strong, and they all leap in that great big tree. Now I really want to play Red Dead. The end. Oh, I love her. Were you reading a bedtime story to an apple tree? Do you think it was apple boom in there? Being replanted in a whole new place is very upsetting for a tree. And Boomer here's one of my favorites. You got a luxurious private sleeper car for a tree. While I am crowded and cramped in the same car with all the other ponies. How am I supposed to get my beauty sleep? Why? Well, no. Bloomberg's the whole reason we're making this trip. He needs his rest so we can give him his right. to my relatives in Appaloosa. And as a good friend, you should talk support Applejack. Bloomberg's no baby. <laughs> Don't whip with a weary man go all sad and wetty. Bloomberg's a big and strong apple tree. Yes, he is. A goochie 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 goochie. It's Whittle Rarity who's all sally waggy. <laughs> Bamber me. <laughs> I was so funny fire roasting on snacks you're all eating and I pooped. Ah, uh, Some of these popcorn kernels didn't get popped. Okay, fine. You know the secret to getting rid of those in the microwave popcorn, right? <laughs> no, how? Oh. You just open a teeny uh, slot, not big enough that the popcorn falls out, and you shake it, and all the, the all the unpopped kernels come out. What's going on? Rainbow Dash thinks Buttershy's a tree. I do not think she's a tree. Did you say she was a tree? I know she's not a tree, right? She's not a tree, Dashie. I'd like to be a tree. Yeah, no, it's just not a tree, right? <laughs> uh -uh. Something's awry. <gasps> not nice. What is up with these buffaloes being jerks? Do you notice the accessories? Oh, they're bandits. But do you get the reference? They're Native Americans. Yes. So this is a very... Cowboy and Native mm. Americans. She's impressed. She's impressive. Oh no! Catch up! Catch up! Catch up! Catch up! Wake up and catch up! No! Are they after the tree? Oh no! Spike's been kidnapped. <laughs> Welcome to Appaloosa! Male Applejack! Boggles the mind, we settler ponies built all this in just the past year, don't it? Like horse on carriages. Okay, you pull now. Ah, we just switched. And those there are horse-drawn horse-drawn carriages. <laughs> horse-drawn horse -drawn carriages. That is an insult for you! <laughs> Have I at least get a glass of water? <laughs> Bryce, we need that grub to live on. Uh, Brightburn! Brightburn. And we had an apple tree with us for your orchard, but they took that too. Did you say buffalo? <sighs> Is this yeah, episode going to feel racist? We want our <laughs> to take every single tree you see here off this land. We put a lot of hard work into this land so we can feed our town, Ooh, our families, our folks. I love the parallax. And now they're saying all these trees have to go? It ain't fair. I tried to save Spike. <laughs> Caught. Run, Vicky. I'll hold him up. Save yourself. Stop! Ash, Vicky, son. Hey, no worries. I know those guys. They're cool. You say so, Spike. Catch you later, bro. Nice. Okay. Fortunately, they totally respect dragons, so they treat me like an honored guest. You! You! That's it! We are at it! That's the one. Please accept my apologies for what happened on the 
the train. We didn't need for anyone to be hurt. Yeah, right. She's a deer. We only wanted Little the buffalo. Train. The settler ponies have overtaken the land. Tiny. And the oh, she almost looks like a deer. Kind of. We can no longer run it's like, that's a fun but... grounds. Huh? Oh, we have a long and winding stampeding train we have run upon for many generations. My father stampeded upon these grounds, and his father before him, <laughs> and his father before him. I don't know why it's so funny. His father stampeded him, upon these grounds. And his father before him. We get it. I think they get the idea. <laughs> It is a sacred tradition to run the path. <laughs> That's so funny. But this year, these <laughs> settler ponies, these <laughs> apple loosen. They planted apple trees all over it without asking our permission. Oh. oh that's not very nice, right, my brother? The ponies refuse to move their trees, so we are stuck here, and it is not fair. See, mm. Rainbow Dash, they have a good reason to. <laughs> I'll say they had a good reason. Come on, we have some apple picking apple loosens to talk to. And we have to be ready for a long hike into Buffalo territory if we're gonna save them. Let's go! You're already in Buffalo territory, you jerks. How'd you escape from the Buffalo? We didn't. We promised the Buffalo a chance to talk. Oh, yeah? About. I'm gonna do that. <laughs> Why they should move the apple trees off Buffalo land. That information will be quite helpful. That's weird. Because my cousin Rayburn here <laughs> wants to explain to the Buffalo why they should let the apple trees stay. That would be a useful thing to. The land is theirs. Why did the trees not know that? Plant the trees somewhere else. Where? It's the only plant land around it. The Buffalo had it first. The settler ponies need it to live. Both the settlers and the Buffalo have good reasons to use this land. There must be something we can do. We may be divided, but of you all, this I is our answer. <laughs> I love her show, girl. Tired. Oh, it worked? That was the worst performance we've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> the time for action. Our stampede will start at high noon tomorrow. And if the orchard is still there, we'll flatten it and the whole town. <gasps> oh, that wasn't the message of my song at all. <laughs> we could just sit down and talk. We could... <laughs> what a noise. Why won't anybody be rational and reasonable? <laughs> this is how, right here. He's not gonna do it! Okay, you gotta share, you gotta care. It's the right thing to do, share. I love that that incites them instead of prevents them. Right. Ready? Ah, uh, they're gonna like the taste of their apple pies. Food <laughs> fight! Ruh -ruh. Oh, I was like, there's a pointy end on the thing. Out of bullets! No! Oh. <laughs> it's gonna go in his mouth. Oh my god, I was right. Oh, hey, I've got a much better idea. I called it. <laughs> we'll allow the apple orchard to stay in exchange for a share of its fruit. Most delicious apple pies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Brother, he 
turquoise any day of the week. Lumber is a special day. <laughs> Mom is so proud of you. Dear Princess Celestia, friendship is a wondrous and powerful thing. Even the worst of enemies can become friends. You need understanding and compromise. You've got to share. You've got to care. Hey! That's what I said! <laughs> I knew she was going to pop in. I actually really loved this episode yeah? a lot. Yeah, it's actually one of my favorites. I wasn't sure where they were going. I thought, oh, are they bandits? And then I'm like, duh, the headdress. Does that make sense? Yes, Native mm -hmm. Americans. I mean, I, I saw it coming. Mm -hmm. I did see it coming. I was like, oh, they're going to taste it. Because I was like, where else or how else are we going to get out of this situation? I wasn't sure. I mean, I did. it, it did have me guessing. I was like, oh, wait. Are they gonna, no, that didn't, no, no, no. And then finally I was like, oh, they're gonna taste the apple pies because they're throwing apple pies and apple mm -hmm. pies are delicious. And that's gonna be the thing that's gonna be like, cool. <laughs> it kind of kind of reminds me of like ritual sacrifices. Like you have to sacrifice this thing in order to keep the whatever other, well, the gods happy. But in this case, the Native American buffalo and really, are they native equestrians or are they native? I'm not sure what you would call them. They'll just call them natives. We'll call them natives. Yeah. But yeah, the dynamic of the older natives and of the mayor of the town versus the younger ones that were willing to compromise. I thought that was a cool little like throw mm -hmm. in too, where they're like, it's not always, the younger generation is not always right by any means, but it was cool to see how they were more willing to compromise than the older generation too in this. They tend to be more peaceful, mm -hmm. except for not speaking for everyone here. But. When you, well, at the same time, you have Applejack and and uh, Rainbow Dash arguing too, and they're part of the younger generation too. So I'm like, Ugh. That happens. yeah, it happens. It still happens. But it was I love that, that in this episode, the Buffy took by accident the Puffy, the Puffy, the Magic Dragon. <laughs> the Puffy was accidentally kidnapped by the Buffy, the not Buffy? the not the Buffy. But the Buffy. <laughs> Buffalo. Buffalo. Okay, I'm on board again. I'm like, what are we talking about? We're not in Whedon. What are you? What? Are you, what? <laughs> then Buffy. <Yeah. laughs> it's a cute one. It definitely takes a different twist than what history did, but. Yeah, wouldn't that hey. be nice? <laughs> no. no, it would not have been nice. No, I mean, if they're just like, oh, yeah. Uh, here's, oh, here's some apple life. pies and we get along and no one has to get hurt. I mean, that's kind of what Thanksgiving was for a second, but. Yeah. yeah we'll see if there's a round two to this episode eventually. i would like it i enjoy i enjoy westerns good yeah. western makes me happy especially when it's with the applejack mm -hmm. and her relatives which braeburn <laughs> Bray braeburn braeburn I, Bray I know it's a type of oh that makes sense we'll braeburn 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 apples right, right. Uh -huh. maybe oh. regardless i loved it and as much as I can't, I keep saying that I think I'm Twilight and a lot of times I'm pretty sure I'm Twilight. I still go back, I bounce back and forth between Applejack and Pinkie Pie too. So it's like, I'm, I'm somewhere say, in there. the end of the season's coming up and I'm making you choose by the end of the season. <sighs> well that- Even though they always develop throughout the entire series. But, yeah, I mean, but... I still might evolve, I'm just saying. Yeah. But for now, I guess I'm Twilight. But there's definitely some Pinkie Pie and still some Applejack in And me. even some Spike in there, too. Yes, there, there's some Spike, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think, honestly, I aspire to be more like Applejack. I just love that outright go get him. Like, and sometimes I got that in me, and other times I'm like, no, I just want to lay here and die. <laughs> I just love that you love all the characters now. I do, I do. I even like Rarity, and at first I called her, what did I call her? Narcissistic. Narcissus. Yeah. Uh, uh, Narcissus. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Narcissus. Narcissister. But she's so fun to watch. She is fun to watch. Anyway, we've got more episodes to watch. So, thank you guys so much for fanning out with us. Fans out! Now I just want to make an apple pie. <laughs> I want to make an orange pie. Are you even watching this episode? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so if you're watching this episode and you like it, hit that like button or tap subscribe or just- Or stay notified with that bell down below. Yeah. And support us at, you know, this button right here. This orange button.